It's again that time for the yays and nays and newbies. I'm going to review February's products. Yes, it's already March. Okay, I have a ton of products that I had tried last month. Of course, you know I love Woosh. If you saw those videos, if you haven't, go back and check them out because they are phenomenal. Woosh is just amazing. I'm not being sponsored or anything. I just purchased this because I was looking for an easier way to uh, travel with makeup or just be able to grab and do a makeup look. So this is gorgeous. And I just got the case. All right, then I tried a lot of foundations last month. That's what got me on the idea I need to slow down. Okay, Turter. This is a lovely concept. It's a cushion foundation. It's refillable. I really love how this goes on. It's just, it's beautiful. Then, oh my gosh, I tried Flower Light Illusion Flower Foundation. I tried uh, Catrice HD. Their coverage foundation, beautiful. I tried the It. I've always loved It foundations. They're they're glorious. They're they're spendy, but you know if they're worth it. So that's these three, uh, and the Turter, and then oh, I love the lip liner by Revlon in nude. I'm gonna try some other colors as well because I just really like how this goes on and how it lasts. And of course the Revlon concealer, the third. The five-in-one, <laughs> it's very conditioning. I'm wearing it now. It just, it goes on and it stays, doesn't crease. It's just amazing. Then I still love my Milani No Pore Zone. I think this is perfect for diminishing the pores. I swear my pores are, are just becoming craterous, <laughs> especially on my nose. So I decided, and I'm gonna sneak in this little perk here, is that every couple of weeks, I am going to dermaplane my nose. It really helped. Because you know how makeup can, it just, your nose sticks out, and, and if that makeup isn't sitting on there correctly, or, or it's, you know, all in your pores, whatnot, it looks yucky. So I dermaplaned this morning. My nose looks 100% better, so that's a little tip. Dermaplane your nose every two weeks. Dermaplane my whole face every month. It's just endless. Beauty is endless work. The lipsticks by Revlon, if you haven't tried them, mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Lovely. This is number 764. I think it's on the mauve. It's beautiful. They're just creamy. They're lovely. Mm -hmm. And then I got the next color, this one here, that I told you look compares to me to Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, much less the cost. And then from Catrice, I got this really cool little lipstick. You'll see lipstick on it. It's, it's a clear glitter. So I just put it on by itself or over lipstick. Mm. It's lovely. And I will list everything I'm loving and using on my face now in the description below. It's always a big list. All right. Then, oh, I think that's all I love right now. If I forgot anything, I'm sorry. Now comes an A's. All right. I usually don't have many. And this one was a disappointment. This is Jerome Alexander Stackables. It, it just, the, the formulation did not work for me. It set my fine lines and wrinkles. It just, it just did, maybe didn't like, you know, my DNA. I don't know. Maybe it worked better for you. It's just really, ah, it's hit or miss. Everything's open, right? It's personal preference. All right, and then I did not like the True Skin by Catrice. I don't have the bottle. I think I already regifted it. It was too heavy. It was it was uh, thick. It, w it was just, it didn't go on. It really showed my fine lines and wrinkles. It wasn't that impressive. But of course, I did like the Catrice HD. Uh, this one went on great. It was more to my color. Revlon's Illuminance Serum Tint. I didn't like that at all. It was just... Um, I don't know. It just for the price, it wasn't anything spectacular. Uh, I already have so many that are really nice, so I wasn't impressed with that one. Now, let me tell you what's coming. The newbies. Whoosh! Scent. Mascara, lip glosses, brushes, and I will be bringing that to you this, this month in March so we can review in April. So those are coming up new. I'm excited. And Jones Road. These I haven't tried yet. Jones Road uh, bronzer, and then I'm going to use their uh, color, their concealer stick. I'm not sure about the color. It's an 11. I got a little tiny blush, and then I got this rose 
or this opaly rose colored uh, highlighter oil. It's supposed to be beautiful. So I'll be bringing those to you and trying those out. We'll bring that and then we'll try them out. <laughs> All right. I got this Bay Free. I uh, had a recommendation to try their balm, and then I thought I saw this. It's a lipstick, but also can go on your cheek. I've worn this. It's it's lovely. And then their balm, I, I think I've already returned it. As soon as I opened it up and broke the seal on it, the smell was, you know, almost like a mentholatum, if you know what that smell is. I put it on, my, and it, it just wafted it up into my eyes and burned them, so that, that wasn't a go for me. But, you know... I'm not telling you not to try it. Go ahead and try it. But if you're really sensitive to fragrances, that, that might not be for you. And then I found, I got this Elf. I got a little sample at Ulta. Elf Putty, Poreless Putty Primer Liquid. So I'm going to give that a try here in the next few days to see how well it is. Because I'm still loving, as I said, my Milani No Pore Zone. So I am bringing you Neutrogena here soon. That should be coming today. They didn't have a lot of makeup products to choose from, but their foundation sounded lovely. It's supposed to be very hydrating and good for mature skin, so I'll be trying that out. And then DIYs are coming up. You don't want to miss those. All right, ladies, thank you for joining me. I love you all so much. You just make my day bright and airy, and I just can't wait to bring you more. Stay cool. Love you.